it's very confusing, so I hired an attorney to try to be the mediator between us all, and that's helped somewhat, but there is some still confusion of what they say and what they do is two different things. Michael Perot is a veteran who lives in Kraft Farms North. He wants to display the American flag in a traditional way. His flagpole is in his backyard with his service flag flying under the stars and stripes. His neighbor, Daniel Eckberg, is a two-time war veteran who says he was shot at on a daily basis, risking his life for what the flag stands for. His flag is displayed in his front yard in a manner he says adheres to federal guidelines. For several months, both men say their HOA, Neighborhood Management LLC out of Birmingham, has been threatening them if the flagpoles don't come down. It's been $510 from the time I put the flag up until now on top of a $200 initial fine equals $710. And then $10 a day? And then $10 a day. Well, how do you intend to, do you intend to pay this? I can't. I don't, I really don't know what I'm going to do. The actions submitted in writing from Neighborhood Management LLC include the fines and for Perot, denial of his permit to add a Florida room onto his home. The HOA hasn't denied anyone the right to fly the American flag, but the Neighborhood Covenant states the poles must be attached to the home. With just that to work with, both men ran a bracket underground from the base of the flagpole and attached it to their homes. They're hoping around, Neighborhood Management around, LLC around will let the flagpole stay. I do not want to use the American flag as a bargaining chip. I do not want to compromise. I do not feel that this display of this flag and service flag is offensive to anybody. I didn't erect my flag uh, to cause any trouble. I don't want to fight with these people. That was never my intentions. But they haven't been able to tell me what I did wrong. And then they send me, they wait until January uh, to start finding me. Yeah, well, that may soon change. I uh, did reach out to Neighborhood Management LLC, and I heard back from them late this afternoon, just about less than an hour ago. They tell me that they have uh, been looking into this matter prior to my inquiry and that the Architectural Review Committee has already determined that one of those flagpoles is okay to stay. Now, this is what they said in their statement. They said, but the advisory board, with owner's cooperation, is willing to continue to seek common ground with the other residents who to find acceptable flagpoles pole design and location criteria. So we'll certainly let you know how this all plays out, but it looks like there is some room for negotiation and cooperation. Reporting live in Gulf Shores, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.